Okay, so now we're going to talk about the attribute table and how we can use ArcMap to, to view and modify attributes of our shapefile. So if we look here, if we right click on any of our shapefiles, we can say open attribute table. This is going to show us our attribute table. And we can see here that this looks a lot like the Excel spreadsheet that we were looking at earlier. We also look at multiple attribute tables at once. Comparing the two attribute tables. So one thing that we did a few weeks ago is that we did, uh, we used access to make a relation between two databases, uh, tables. And we can do the same thing with uh, ArcMap by using the join feature. So what we're going to do is join the Texas USGS with the Texas Census. So if you see here under place name and under name, we have the same values in most cases like Abbott, Abbott. But we have more values in the USGS because USGS place names also have things like uh, streams and reservoirs. So maybe the first thing we want to do is change uh, to extract out only the place, the populated places out of the census. So if we look here, we can see that there's reservoirs, ranges, and what we're interested in is PPLs. So if we go to here, to the type, that's going to be the field that we're going to want to use to, to select by attribute. So if we go down into our options, we have an option under our option menu, something called select by attribute. So we can choose select by attribute. From here, we can construct our SQL statement that will allow us to, to select only populated places. So what we're gonna say is that we want to select type is equal to, and I like pushing get unique values. This will get all the different values that we have in our in our field, you can see here that this one has a dam and all these different park, locale. We want to choose uh, PPL. So we're going to choose PPL. So just double click that and then you hit apply. Whenever you hit apply now, it will only go through and select the PPL. So you can see here it didn't select reservoir, it didn't select stream, it didn't select the park, it only selected the PPLs. One thing you can do with your attribute tables, also you can just display what has been selected at the bottom. So right now I show all, we can change this to show only the selected. If we take our attribute table and we uh, shrink it, or just, let's just close it, you can see on your map that it doesn't just select it in the attribute table, it also selects it in the map. So you can see now all these dots have been highlighted blue. What we're going to do now is that we're going to export this data out. So if you right click and you choose data, export data, here now I can export out my Texas census, I'm going to call this one PPL because this one's just the populated places. And I say OK. It exports it. It asks me if I want to add it to my layer. I say yes. And now I cleaned up my shape file by doing that. So I can just go ahead and remove my old one because I don't need it anymore. And that's going to also, also I'll go here and I'll clear my selection. So if I go to selection and clear selected features, there we go. So now I have Texas Census with just the populated places in it. So if I look here, I can see that I just have the cities. Actually, I made a mistake. I should have not, I should have been exporting from the USGS because that's the one that had PPL. So I guess this is good because now you get to see me do it again. 
uh, quickly. So I'm going to go here to Options, select by attribute. I'm going to click on Type, Equals, and then I'm going to choose my unique values to get all the different values. PPL. So this part I did correctly earlier. Selected it. Yes. So the part is that I accidentally uh, exported the wrong data. So if I click on Texas USGS and then data, export data, this was the one I was supposed to export. And you see here now that I have these things selected under uh, Texas, all these different dots selected, I have this option now here in this field to export only selected features. So in this way, this is almost like doing the filtering in Excel where we use filter just to filter out certain values. We, instead of using filter, we select it by attributes. And now we're exporting it out. It's like making our new Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna call this one Texas USGS PPL. Okay. And okay, so now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna add this to my ArcMap document? And of course I do, so I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so that's that's better, and now I'm going to remove out my Texas USGS. Good, so now that's how I make a subset. In the next one, we'll, next video, we'll do the joining.